Hey, it's Wayne from Wayne's Zambo World. I thought I'd do something a little different. I haven't really introduced myself on my videos before, but um, I was uh, working on a few different ambulances in uh, Washington State uh, last week. Had a great time, met a lot of great people, and I hope you enjoy the video. And also, I lost my signature ball cap. So it was if people remember, it was a blue cap with the uh, four bears like the Beatles. So if anybody can see one a hat like that or find a hat like that, let me know because I'm trying to get one back again. Well, I'm in Vancouver right now and uh, one of my subscribers uh, just bought an ambulance and it's a Demir's and they have some issues. They don't know anything about the wiring. They bought this used from somebody else, already had one, had it as a work truck and took a lot of stuff apart. So, but I'm gonna look at it, see where I can hook up the wiring again, get things working and just trace all the wiring that's uh, still left, so. So you wanna introduce yourself? Sure, my name's Osa. I'm Amelia. And Wayne's come all the way to help us out with our electrical system here, which is uh, incredible. Yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's a quite insane to deal with. And you've had this for about a month? Yeah, right? a month, yeah. yeah. Month, yeah. In Victoria, drove it over here, and now we are converting it. Yep, yeah. and you plan to live in it, I would believe, right? Yeah, yeah. we yeah. plan to live in it. No, oh, that's great. In the, in Hopefully the in the new year, yeah. 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 The lights were covered. They do have some of the controls still in here. Uh, the control panel for the back has been taken off, but it's sitting up top there, but they did not cut the wires, which is kind of nice. So we have some of the radio equipment, the location equipment, so we'll work on this. And I'm going to track down the, the wiring. So it's all PLC controlled, just like Nancy's. It's got a switch for the battery. So I'll do a little bit more research. Still got the fire extinguisher. And they had house batteries, but they disconnected. So we're going to track it all down for them. It was suggested to me that I get a remote mic. So for better audio, bought a remote mic. I... Uh, charged it, plugged it into my phone, I tested it a few times, it worked great, and now I want to use it, it didn't work. So I'm back at Joe's, uh, you saw me working on his ambulance about a month ago in Washington State. So uh, I asked him to get a few more parts, he's got them, and now I'm going to install them. One thing I asked uh, Joe to buy is a new battery charger, a smart charger, with the two outputs one to charge his truck batteries and one to charge his house batteries. This uh, charger will charge lead acid, AGM and lithium. The uh, inverter Joe bought was not a smart switch and on his uh, vehicle itself only had one plug that was hooked up to shore power so I got him to buy the smart switch. I've hooked up all the uh, electrical outlets to the electrical box you see uh, on the side and with a smart switch. So when the uh, shore power is plugged in, even if the uh, inverter is turned on, it won't draw any power from the inverter. So it's uh, much better for him. He's got the four plugs. He doesn't have to worry about what I'm gonna do, which plug I can plug into. So that's all set up and everything we've tested and everything works great. I did find a problem with the old charging system and I bypassed it totally. He had two uh, leads coming off of the old battery charger, uh, one for each battery on the left and right hand side, and they went through uh, resettable circuit breakers. The, bre the breakers are totally rusted out. Um, whoever installed this on here should have never done it. It's got all sorts of water and weather coming from it. Uh, I thought it was a very poor idea. They were going to do something like this, take it out. If you have something like this on your vehicle, I suggest you take it out and change it. So we got both batteries on the front for his truck batteries. Um, some you find a little different, but make sure that they're tied in together and don't have uh, resettable circuit breakers underneath the hood. Uh, good morning. I'm in Gig Harbor, Washington right now, 
and uh, I'm uh, gonna look at another ambulance. So this one is unique for me. It's a 91 Ford F350 with a 7.3 liter diesel, but it's a full engine up front, like a pickup truck with an ambulance on the back. So, with the uh, truck batteries connected, the control panel is live, and even with the uh, master switch, which is here off, it's still drawing current. So this is what I want to isolate, so when they have the truck off, nothing in the back is running, and only when I turn on the master switch will it turn on all the power. So that'll save their truck battery life, and the master switch will be running from their house power, not from the truck power. It has one, two, three, four, five solenoids uh, switching it all out for the power. There's the one main one, so when the truck batteries is on, I found the main one. It turns the power on and turns one, two, three, four, five circuits on with the uh, just the truck battery on. Then the master switch, I'm just going to double check that I've got the right one for the master switch and uh, we'll see what else it turns on. So I'm gonna just write it down. Um, I'm gonna do some rewiring and have it set up. Because they don't have house batteries right now, but I will transfer that around. If, uh, I'll see if they have the batteries here. And, uh, but at least I can wire it up so it won't kill the, uh, the truck batteries and I can actually show them how to wire it up to the house batteries later if they don't have the house batteries now so but uh, only took me about five minutes to figure out uh, the, the issue so I'm just gonna do some work on that I do a little drawing for them and uh, rewire it Here's the electrical system and here was the input from the uh, batteries. We're going to reroute this now to the house batteries and so you can have all the controls separated from the truck batteries to the back batteries so she can actually get this thing registered as an RV. So we've got the cable, we're going to hook it up and everything should work great. She wanted to keep all existing wiring in it which I like. I hate people ripping everything out. Okay, here we have the uh, house batteries and the truck batteries. They were all tied together. I isolated the truck battery for here. We rerouted it. And these are going to be for the house batteries itself. She's going to keep the same batteries in for now. Maybe lithium later. We'll see. And uh, so now what I'm going to do is where the house batteries go into the back of the power control circuit. Well, she's super happy now. Everything is isolated. This job took four hours to complete. I thought I was safe using aftermarket seals and O-rings, but I was mistaken. They didn't last two months. Hey, if you need any help with your wiring on your ambulance, RV, or van, just let me know, and I'll try to help you.